Hey folks, welcome to The Voice of Chill. This is the second episode and I'm your host, Ken. First of all, thank you for your amazing response to the first episode of The Voice of Chill. We had Mike Fasano as our first guest and today is very special because we have our very own Stefan Adika and Michael Oive. For those of you who don't know who these guys are, Stefan Adika and Michael Oive, I guess you should just watch on. I know we all are very excited for this. And before we bring on the guests, let me bring on my co-hosts. So let's welcome Becca and Funky Al Medina. Hello. Hello. Becca. Becca. Hey. Oh, hi. Hi. You all. What's Sorry, up? I, was, I, was just, I was just tripping over schools out, um, Alice oh. Cooper and Hollywood Fires, which is a good song. And hi, everybody. Thanks, hey. Mike Fazano, for, for the have a great show. Hi, yes. Eileen. Um, hi, everybody. Oh, that's so good to see all these people here. Yes. Oh that. Look at that. Okay, let's put up some comments at very first. I see. Yes. Awesome. Hello, hey, hey Joe. Hey, Joe. What's up? How are you? Hi. Mm -hmm. Abby. Oh, there are many comments. Abby. We are going to party. Adam, greetings from Australia. Adam. Greetings, Adam. Oh, there it is. Yo, greetings from Australia. Woo. What's up? Who's there? Hey, look. Hi, Abby. <laughs> what? <laughs> Portuguese. It's all the Portuguese I know. <laughs> it's perfect. It's okay. Awesome. Who else? Okay, there's Eileen. Hi, Eileen. What's up? So glad you joined us. Divas. Oh, yes. Hola, Alex. Alex. Hola, hola, hola. Oh, there you go. My, my yeah. name. Hello, everyone. Hello, Michael. Uh, hello there. <laughs> so great. Yes, we are so ready too. <laughs> so great to see you. So great to see you guys. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, we are waiting for our guests, actually, who are <laughs> very on time. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Lolly. Oh, there's Lolly. Yes. So it's really great, though. Oh, Medina, uh, Amila is saying hi for you. Hi, Amila. Also, hi, Fatima. Hi, everyone. Fatima. Um, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah. tell me, Becca, you just you were live with Stefan Adika. You were watching Stefan live like an hour ago, and you had some fun over there. An incident, <laughs> yes. something funny. Tell I us need about to show it. you guys. Yes. <laughs> Actually, all, everyone that were on the show saw that. But I need to show you guys because, um, yeah, sure. well, Corey just took his shirt off, showed his beautiful body. <laughs> and actually, my grandma just passed by me and saw it. And she said, what the fuck? Is that porn? Are you watching porn? And I said, no, it's a Stefan and Dika show. And, it's talk. <laughs> and then she started laughing a lot of it. And... Um, yeah, I sent this description, bro. My grandma thought I was watching porn. LA <laughs> man. Um, and I took a picture of it because, bro, that's not going to happen again. Wait. <laughs> there you go. There's my comment. But I guess you can't see this, but anyway. 
No. Yeah. So Corey mm. maybe have some problems. <laughs> Not actually. Okay. Just well, I didn't work. That's oh, really right. funny. I mean, yeah. Did you guys actually know that Stefan Adina actually played bass guitar before even starting this coffee talk? And he yeah. toured for 20 years. Okay, oh can, can you put, can you put, uh, I think he played with Ryan Roxy. Uh, I, 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 I gotta show you guys. Yeah, I gotta show you guys an image of uh, Stefan right now. <laughs> Core porn, the saddest porn. <laughs> yeah, here's Adika oh, yeah. with his band called Star Fuckers. Can you believe that? <laughs> There's Eric Dover. There is Slim Jim Phantom. Oh, wow. I don't Chuck. know who the guy is next to Stefan there, but oh, man. but there's Stefan with the bass guitar on. How cool is that? And the man who played with Eddie Van Halen, and he was with Didi Ramon band, and he has been with Alice Cooper. He was in Dad's porno mag. My God, <laughs> why did he even jump into coffee talk? But I think he does coffee talk better than his base career. Although he yes. toured many years or so. What do you think? Oh God, that's yeah, yeah. He, he's very okay. Old. Okay, we have our guest right now. We have a guest right now. Let's welcome all. Michael Fay from Tame Fury. Here he is, guys. Woo! Ta da! Yeah! Hello. <laughs> hey, guys. Hello there. How are you? Thank you for you? having us. I'm awesome. How are you doing? We're good. good. We're good. Very Did cool. you read Very the cool. comments? <laughs> I was. I'm. I'm. Uh, <laughs> I, lo I love it. Lolly, Lolly, you. Th this is the best one. That is like, <laughs> is that porn? Lol. No, it's the Stefan Adika show. Same thing. Yeah. First of all, Corey sometimes is okay. This can we, can we talk? It's just us. Yeah, sure. Okay, sure. Corey is a good guy, but sometimes he just he he doesn't take his medicine, so he cuts kind of, you know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corey, Corey's like that little hamster. Like you just want to hold him and and pet him, but when you put him down, he kind of goes nuts. And that's just, <laughs> you know what I mean? so, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. That's just like me. <laughs> oh, you're like nuts. a hamster. No, I'm nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Actually, so what, it's just like me and Amadina because she's nuts too and can. Oh my God! If what you time see is our it where, group chat, what time is it where each each of you guys are at? Um, for for me, it's two p.m. Okay. Yeah, and uh, in Bosnia, it's uh, seven twelve p.m. And Ken, you're like at ten o'clock at night. Thirty-five p.m. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. And it's noon here where I'm at. So I'm in Texas, oh. by the way. Oh, wow. That's cool. I'm in Texas. Yeah. Texas, oh, baby. Yeah, yeah. Texas is awesome. <laughs> it is. Lolly, Lolly Boyle. Corey's like a hobbit. <laughs> like a what? Like a hobbit? Yeah. yeah. Hey, who is Stefan Stalker? Do you know y'all know who that is? I don't know. Well, you don't know, but he's your. He's in that your... it's the one Stefan. Ken, you don't... know, don't you? Ken knows. Look at him. He's laughing. <laughs> he's laughing. <laughs> Come on, Ken. Hey, just between us, who is it? <laughs> just reveal yourself, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep the mystery up. What are you yeah. drinking, Rebecca? What is that? I know it's not coffee. No, um, it's it's um, vitamin. It's banana vitamin. It's pretty good and healthy. Really? That's yeah, good. 
Yeah, it's chunky. Pretty good. You said banana, right? Yes. Like real bananas or just flavored banana? No, the the real banana. So it's like chunky. Like you, you break it, you break it, and put on the, the machine. I don't know the name in English, but yeah. The banana uh, machine. Put it on. No. <laughs> no. Uh, where you mix it. And yeah, you put, like a mixer. Um, Just call it a mixer. Sugar and the banana and mix it and it's ready. It, oh, and so like a, like a smoothie, like a milkshake kind of thing? Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Okay. I'm sorry. Sometimes my accent and my English is not. No, perfect. no. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> hey, so... um. There's a problem with my Wi-Fi, so I'm just gonna go check it, and then then I'll come back. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So Ken, Ken, what's in your magic cup over there? This one. Yeah. You're what's about? Let me see your cup. What's? Uh, like when I was sitting backstage, I heard y'all laughing about. What's the deal with the cup? You want to cool. see? What <laughs> 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 he drank it all. He drank it all. Do, you know, you guys do this all the time on your show. You know I what? I do that, and there's nothing in my cup. Sometimes I'm just like, uh huh. <laughs> see, look, look what I'm doing. You see that? Oh wow! Hey, that's so, cool, Team Fury. But, yeah, that's called smart marketing because I'm going like this. I'm going, uh huh. Uh huh. That's, that's cool. I mean, so you mine. Go. A birthday from some somebody that I don't even know who it is, but <laughs> that's all good. You know, like oh, I, I'm drinking. You know, I really do have yeah. coffee in my cup in the morning, but once I'm after I'm done drinking it, I don't I don't want to go in there and get another one. So I'm just no, sitting I here. Don't, you know. I don't know. I don't know how you can't like just wake up like seven and half uh, for the, the show um, and be so funny and like energetic. I wake up at 11 to watch the show and I'm like, what the fuck? I need to wake up for this. <laughs> and it's like, bro, it's good. I had, somebody, good. I had somebody message me and she's like, I love your, listen to this, I love your character, how, how you're you're funny for the show. I'm like, my character, that's that's me. Like, I'm goofy 24 hours a day. For oh, real. Uh, oh my God. Yeah. I mean, just... <laughs> you, don't need, you don't need to, to, to like, you know, um, hide yourself for someone or like this. Know. Oh my God! No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good joke. <laughs> uh, I know who gave you that cup. I made Lolly say it. Yeah, so oh. there's uh, a friend of mine named Debbie. She had it made for us, for me. And it really oh, cool. Debbie! Deb is amazing. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, what's up with Michael's hair? How does he get it so flat? Yeah, because even I want Dude, to know that. How do I get it so flat? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's my drummer. Shut up, Fred. Uh, <laughs> no, look, because if you okay, guys, if if you knew me, I I always wear my hair. And you'd have to find yeah. a photo. Well, my profile photo is always sticking up, and since we've it's been pretty in, cool. Well, I since we've been in, do this. yeah. Since we've Ooh, been inside cool. and not able to go get our, you know, I've just said screw it, so I yeah. let it just go flat. But anyway, to answer your question, Fred, um, how does it get so <laughs> flat? You lay on it, okay? You lay on <laughs> it. You don't do crap to it, and you just lay on it. <laughs> Perfect. There. I loved it. Try I it. Mean, when <laughs> when I wake up, I'm looking like a Noompa Loompa from the, the Chocolate Factory. Cause my hair goes like, you know, like like a bomb. How's it? How does and it go, I just Rebecca? can't control this shit, and it's it's tough. It's tough. God, how's it, I how didn't does it know. Go? Rebecca, how's it go? What? How does it go again? Like, yeah, <laughs> like a bomb. Like a bomb. Yeah. Careful saying yeah. that word over the internet. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just get like if I want to fix it, I have to like go to the shower and wet it. This, the hair and you know clean it. Even if it's clean, I have to clean it up it again. I like what Kim's got going on. 
Ken, Ken's got that cool vibe. He's got that. Look at him. I mean, just, he's got that cool vibe. Yeah, and he's fucking intelligent. He's smart he's, as fuck. He's, he's the like, Vic of the group, by the way. He's the what? Yeah, the the oh, he's the Vic of the group. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, Ken probably wakes up and, and let, okay, be honest. He probably wakes up oh, and he goes to the mirror. He's like, damn, I'm cool. Don't you Ken? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> so let's talk about Team Fury. How did you guys come up with you? You you are the vocalist, and you're the front. Like this little said, Blinder. Um, yes. Um, we decided to. You know, it's a funny story. I I, I want to bring my drummer on to to elaborate on that story. He's he's a uh, sure. He's sure. Can we bring him on? Yeah, yes. bring one. Yeah, 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 Let yeah, me the, see if I can. Yeah, yeah, I'll put the link right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, put the link out there for him, Fred, if you're watching. We have a really funny story. Uh because oh the the band actually was not together when we took our first show, but we were asked to do a prominent show, so we took the show without a being a band. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we basically had a we had a month to put songs together because we were all from other bands. Okay. Yeah. So we basically had a month to put the, the band together, even though the name was already there and the name was out there and people knew the name. Um, mm -hmm. I had other members way in the past and then uh, decided to do it again. So it's, I, I'll wait for Fred to come on, but it's a, uh, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny, but. Okay. So, so we have someone joining us. Let's welcome our special guest, Mr. Stefan Adi. Hey, hey, there he is. Hey, where you been? There he is, finally. Oh, my God. How you doing, guys? What the fuck, Stefan? I should go. <laughs> you, she You're cursed. sitting and beat <laughs> you on the face. We could cuss on this show, Stefan. Oh my good! I'm I'm so surprised Rebecca cursed. I was like, oh my goodness! Oh, you should have heard her before you came on. She was she was mf and me and all kind of stuff, man. Oh my good! I I was on the phone with um <laughs> actually um uh with Kelly from from uh, from Buck Cherry. I was telling nice. to watch the show. That's what, that's why I was late. So you guys like Buck Cherry? It's okay. Do you yeah. like do you like the band Buck Cherry? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's how fine. About, how, about, how about you, Funky? <laughs> do you like Buck Cherry? Is a Chuck Berry? Chuck Go Berry. Ahead. It's like a spinoff of the name. That's it. Okay, so I want to make sure I gotta get. I want to understand everybody here that I'm talking to. Okay, because I get so caught in Adika's world. Now I'm in your world. Okay, so I'm gonna start yeah. with, with 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 Ken on top. Ken, how old are you? I'm 24. You're 24 years old. Okay, and um, what are you doing for work? Well, I'm an engineer, and uh, I. Yeah wanted to pursue my MS, actually Master of Science in mm -hmm. uh, USA, computer science as well. Mm -hmm. But this whole pandemic showed up and busted my plan. So I tried freelancing and working as WIC. And <laughs> we started the show. And yeah, so I'm spending my time doing things like working, you know, freelancing stuff and doing my own projects, working on my own projects. Uh, I completed my, uh, uh, I got I got my uh, professional certificate from IBM in data science. Very cool. I, yeah, I am also an ID professional certified from Google. So okay, that's too much of technology there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow! So you really, you really a smart guy. So it's, wow, I'm I'm impressed with this. I so let me ask you, Ken, and I'm not I'm not you know I'm just asking these questions, and I'll tell you why after. Uh, Rebecca, how old how old are you? I'm fifteen. Fifteen years old. Okay. Do you have a job? No, because I can't work. <laughs> you can't work. You're a student. Yes, I am. You student? What grade are you in? I am on high school. High school. Um, yeah, actually, again, on first grade, because I, I, I didn't pass last year. Uh -huh. uh, 
So I'm doing the first grade again. So there's more two years and then I go to the college. College. Okay. And then what do you, what's, what your passion is art. I know that passion, art and singing, yeah. right? Which yes. you do, which you're great at. Amazing, amazing artists. I got to really thank you yeah, for the art that you stuff. did for, for my family and take the time. Oh, to no, 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 it's so okay. Um, it's a pleasure for me to, to, to make part of it and, you know, make this art for you and for mm. Michael and for everyone because I love my art is my life. You know, it's yeah. everything I have. No, it's, it's beautiful. As, a, as I am not good at school, I am good on, on art and, you know, this this kind of stuff. But it's anyway. a, you know, it's because you know what I. I'll tell you something about me. I was not good in school and it wasn't, I was not good in school. I didn't no. apply myself because I just wasn't interested in it, but I used to love art and I used to sit there and draw. Cause I, cause the, that's why I brought you on with Tommy. Oh, Mike, yeah. you've been on here all, you don't interrupt me. You're trying to interrupt me. It's like, you get bad habits from that Corey Levin thing. Like I'm talking here, serious. You get the serious <laughs> side and you just can't make me. It's like, <laughs> sorry, Rebecca. My friend Drew. He has a whole hour. I'm late, and he has, a, and then he takes from us. But I was, um, and an old joke aside, um, yeah, I was, I would get lost, my lose my world in my art when I was a kid, you know. And 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 I never talk about this stuff as a serious side. You know, my parents divorced when I was very young, right? And 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 art was real important to me, and the Beatles were important. So I would lose, yes. lose my my world, whatever was bothering me. I throw it in art. Hi, That's I'm, I'm Stefan. Hi, hi, nice to meet. You. Would you stop? She's saying hello to me. <laughs> She's saying hello to me. Who does she go? Do you? Hi, what is your name? Yeah, I am. I am Christine. Oh wait, because you said one more time. Okay, oh, no, it's I, I, you. What's your name again? I'm sorry. Christine. I am, I am Christini, right? Right? Yes. Oh, beautiful. I am Stefan, a YouTube sensation. Mwah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. You know, she says something totally different. <laughs> I'm a YouTube sensation. Very nice to meet you. And that's my uh, wife. This is my wife, Amber. Amber, Amber. That's my wife. Oh, there she goes. Hi. I, I'm, Hi, Amber. I'm married. <laughs> I'm married. I'm, I have a little family, and your daughter draws the best pictures of my family. You, you, you have a, a granddaughter, 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 right? Right? Yes. Yes. Looks, wow. She. The, the, I thought the mom was 18. She looks beautiful, young, <laughs> young, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> now, now, that guy right there. She's 55. You're 55. I'm 52. Yes, I'm 52. <laughs> I'm, I'm 52. And that guy, are you, are you, is, you, is she? Are you married? Is she married? Yes. Married. <laughs> married? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you, yeah. you have <laughs> my friend over here? How old are you, Mike? Michael? Fifty. He's fifty no. years old, and he has nobody. Nobody. Can you help her? You, you have a cousin? Anybody he can meet? <laughs> There's nobody. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. Um, she says she, say she has a sister. Have you ever and sister? She, yeah, and looks like her. And she's beautiful, has a very, very pretty body. Beautiful. Body and Michael, relax, Michael. I'm going to send it to I'm you, gonna... Michael. <laughs> okay, here's, I'll talk slow. And Rebecca, you translate. Here's the problem. Yeah. Oh, your grandmother. Here's the problem. Michael, he likes to play with kiss dolls. He's 50 years old. Yeah, now, we we got to fix the problem. The problem yeah. is we got to fix I'm, it. I have the, sure my, my aunt is better than a uh, uh, doll. I have sure. So wait a second. <laughs> if Michael married the sister, right? Yeah. That would sister. be Unc Uncle Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Michael. Yes. <laughs> That sounds like a sitcom. Uncle Michael. <laughs> Uncle Michael. It's like it's like that show, Uncle Buck. Hey guys, hang on, hang on. So we've, we've got a special guest. We've wait, got a special guest. Wait a second, but wait a second. You, you, you got this guy's This guy's lonely. I'm trying to help out, Ken. Sure. Yeah, yeah. We have and, to. And I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get to talk. I didn't get to talk to Funky yet. I'm just okay, trying to go down the road. He, he, 
she will go because she's gonna do um, the lunch because we did a lunch. Um, so she's gonna she's gonna do the lunch. Wait, what is this? Wait, hold on, hold on. You got a special guest here, but this guy, this is the scary <laughs> person. You get the girl. You. Who is <laughs> okay. So, no, um, and also, she said uh, she she's doing math for okay. for okay. and stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, do you? That's she did it. Oh, that's good. You gotta, you gotta wear that because, because Michael and his friends is scared. I like that. She made that. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Very cool. I need one. I need. There's a kiss logo on it. You're, 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 you're insane over there with the kiss. So I'm trying to hook you up to show people you're a human being, and you gotta always mention kiss in a conversation. I got a nice, yeah. lady, nice family. Let me, let me, let me start over. You, 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 I, there's no help. No help. Now, Damn, she ran off. Yeah. Because of you. Maybe because of your friend over here. What'd you bring down to Hannibal Lecter down there? What the hell? What's going on? <laughs> Hi, Funky. How are you? Hi, Funky. How are you doing? Now, Funky, how old are you? I'm 16. 16? How, how are you yeah. doing in school? Mm, excellent. Excellent. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. And um, do you like art? What do you like doing? Your hobbies? Yeah, I'm also an artist. I draw, I sing, I do literally everything. Mm. Yeah, I'm also into acting, like literally everything, every form of art. Yeah, what's what's your, what what kind of music are you listening to nowadays? Uh, nowadays, oh, it's a lot of music. You know, I usually I love rock the most, but I also listen to pop. You know, the Hollywood Vampires. You know, Alice Cooper, mm -hmm. Ryan Roxy. Yes. Wait, like okay, that. let's talk about Hollywood Vampires and this Ryan Roxy guy. I know him. You know, I know him. Yeah. Who do you like better? Tommy or Ryan? Oh. <laughs> come on. Come on. That's a very hard question. Who's better looking? Who's who who do you would you rather look at? If you have it, you're on a desert island and you got a picture. <laughs> you got Ryan or Tommy? Who would okay. you like? Okay. What's that? I, you pick one. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pick one. Okay, I love Tommy, but I would rather look at Ryan. You'd rather look at really? Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. You know what I think it is? No, it's it's no. I'll t I think I, I, because Tommy has no s good social media. Ryan's out there trying to get all the social media, right? That's so true. you so you feel like you know Ryan a little bit more than Tommy. Yeah. Yeah, Ryan, that's Tommy's more him. private. Okay, don't get fooled by this Ryan guy. Don't get fooled. Don't get fooled. Tommy, Tommy's a bad looking guy. I think. Okay, that's what you think. Uh, Okay, 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 okay. You're on a desert island. You got, you got, who's better to look at? When you watch the Alice Cooper show, who do you watch? Who's the most person you watch the most on stage when you're watching it? Well, a Hollywood Vampires concert. Yeah, what do you like better, Hollywood Vampires or Alice Cooper band? Hollywood Which Vampires. One? You like Hollywood Vampires? Okay, I'm yeah. going to fix the problem here. Ryan's not in Hollywood Vampires, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, so the, so the end result is Tommy wins. There it is. <laughs> Johnny Depp. John. Now, who's your favorite in Hollywood Vampires? I think it's obvious. It's Johnny. It's Johnny Depp. You think Ryan looks like Johnny Depp? No. No. You know, I, I'll tell you a secret. Ryan, he goes around saying that Johnny Depp ripped his I, his vibe off. Shh, you didn't hear it from me. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, trouble. Okay, that's a secret. Emma. That's trouble. Wait, 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 Ryan with sunglasses, Ryan with the P Ryan with the with the old man glasses, right? That's very sexy. Very yeah. Sexy. Yeah. Ryan, yeah. That's right. Ryan. That's right. He says that Johnny took everything from him. But you didn't hear it from me. I'm not one to start rumors. Yeah, okay. No, no. no. Mm -mm. I'm, I want to okay, okay. So Hollywood Vampire. That's your favorite rock band right now, is Hollywood Vampire. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay. That's a very good band. Okay. Um what's your favorite um other band besides now the rock let's go to another like a like a pop band pop well um there aren't any bands that you know are new you like boy bands oh, yeah. yeah 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 you, you don't like boy bands i do you do who's your favorite boy band michael um, Oive. Oive loves boy bands yeah <laughs> well you know they're pop you know it's one direction one direction yeah okay you have a choice one Direction or Hollywood Vampires? <laughs> I mean, say the, the right thing, Funky. 
No, is don't, don't, don't pollute her. Let her. She has an opinion. She's a loud oh. oyve. I'm sorry, Funky. Who's your favorite? One Direction or Hollywood Vampires? Hollywood Vampires, definitely. All right, all right, Rebecca. What do you? You know the truth. I think she's lying, don't you? Well, she uh -huh. likes. One Direction. She likes One Direction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I guess. Uh, you guess. She could choose. If you could, yeah. Uh, between bands, mm -hmm. uh, she wouldn't pick it up. This she would like. For sure, Johnny Depp on Holiday of Vampires. So, so, she would take yeah, Johnny Depp. It. If Johnny Depp was in One Direction, who would you like better? <laughs> Great, great question. Great question. Oy vey. Okay, okay. Yeah. First of all, first of all, first of all, there's no possibility of Johnny fucking Depp go to One Direction band like that, like that type. Thank of you, because it's not a band. No, no, no. This is this is the discussion. Where's Ken? Ken, Ken, who do you like better? Well, I don't like it. I don't like any boy bands. Uh, I don't like. Uh, Fred, thank, Fred thank is you, waiting backstage. I'm gonna, <laughs> who? I'm, I'm gonna add Fred here. Fred Williams. Is Fred from One Direction? <laughs> <laughs> Fred, is it Fred with a C? Where's the F? Where the hell? Hey, Fred. Hey, Fred. What band are you in? Fred, are you in One Direction? <laughs> Hi, Fred. How come his name is spelled with a PH and not an F? Like Fred Sam. cool like that. Fred, yeah. nice to meet you, Fred. So tell me what it was like when you got that gig with, uh, with One Direction. Where'd he go? <laughs> Where'd he go? He's a great interview, that guy. Ooh, this is great. Who picked him? Who picked him? Uh, Mike Fazano, don't stop saying Johnny Depp. <laughs> I mean, let, let's look. Yes, Abby says Fred is in one direction, right? How many coffees has Adika had? Alex wants to know. Alex, that, that you, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say Adika's divas. I might get sued. Hi, Fred. Okay, question. Hey, Fred. Question hey, how y'all doing? Fred, oh, we can hear you now. Fred, Fred from One Direction. Yay. I'm a big fan. <laughs> hey, Mike loves One Direction. He right, actually really does. Yeah. Yeah. Fred, yeah. tell me, what was it like when you got How y'all doing this morning? We're doing good. We're for Team Fury. Oh, what's that? Oh, you're in Team Fury? Yes. Oh, wait, hold on. Did Fred win? Yeah. At, I didn't know that. Oh. I'm Lolly Boyle, <laughs> Lolly Boyle. I'm not mean. Hold on, Lolly said you're in one direction. Oh really? Well, he's in he's in one direction, going Lolly, going in a and weird Ken, way. Ken told me you were Johnny Depp. I didn't yeah. know who you are. I thought I was totally <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Lolly's a nut. Oh my God, Mike Fazano, Stefan, would you shut the f up and let the kids do this? Mike, Thanks, get Lolly. your fingers off the keyboards before I chop them off. Look, I have to yell. I'm not me. near the keyboard. You, Fazano. Oh, how is Fazano involved with the keyboard here? Because he's 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 bothering me. <laughs> no, he's not. Here. <laughs> he's just, keep on. Yeah, hey, Fred. Goes in and out, man. Hey, Fred. So let me let me ask you a question. No, it, I'll tell you what it is, buddy. You're using your iPhone, right? Are you using your iPhone? Fred, I, I can only hear like every other word. It's weird. Yeah, because you need to go to a laptop inside the house. You need to go in your house. Your laptop. I'm a yeah, YouTube I don't sensation, have a, Fred. I'm yeah, a YouTube a sensation. I know everything. I'm going to help you. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't have a laptop though. That's Fred with Doc McGee. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah that's. That's hey, pretty cool. What's you, that, Mike? You, you probably he probably needs to go in his house to get better reception because the kids can't do an interview like that. It's hard for them. Hard to. You I can know. try that. Yeah, try it. You'll get better reception in there. Yeah, let's see. Uh, ten minutes. Oh. All right. Let's oh, I'm see. getting a I'm, I'm getting a ten minute countdown, so I'm gonna have to go soon. My wife, I get in trouble. I gotta watch my little one. I have a four year old daughter, Brooklyn. You guys all know of. I would love to see her. You know what? You guys would be amazing babies sitters for us and i would love i'm so happy you guys are doing this show and that you guys anything that i could do do, I, do i need to hook the wi-fi uh you know what it would be good if you go to the wi-fi yeah, yeah. But i wonder if i should hook to we love brooklyn oh yes uh, yeah very good and you guys i gotta tell you i'm very it's whatever i could do to help you guys do me a favor because today we we're trying to put your link on our show send yeah. the link to oive and then we'll put it up there because when I'm doing the show, I sometimes the internet will go crazy and I can't do all the links. And I really want to support yep. you guys and the channel and um, do everything. Uh, is that a spearhead hat? So yeah, that's a spearhead. And that's this cool is, looking. This is the oh, yes. 
that's a spearhead coffee. They're they're a local that's a, here that's in a the cool central. Yeah, yeah. They finally, I got some coffee. I got this. That's their coffee, and this coffee is wonderful coffee. It's actually, it's uh, they they wrote they grow, grow their own uh, beans. This is from uh, Brazil, and it's a cashew and a chocolate with a slight taste of lemon, and it's. See? it's I was going to say that Brazil does one of the best coffees in the world. It is. Brazil has the best coffee. And you go to this website, and the link's on my th uh, on my um, coffee talk. I have a link. You got to check yeah. out the websites and what they do with their coffee. I'm big in the coffee. The co and you like you guys like coffee, Funky? Yeah. You like? Of you like? <laughs> okay. I got Medina. She drinks like a cup like we, this. Really? What kind of co Funky, what do you like? What, what kind of coffee do you like? Black. You like... Do, you, you ever try cinnamon? A little cinnamon in the coffee? I haven't. Yeah. It's good. Try, <laughs> believe it or not. It's well. Good. I have to. Yeah. You, you will love it. You will love it. Um. So, what, do you like a, a, a certain like a dark, like an espresso type? What kind of coffee do you like? Do you like strong or? I mean, yeah, I drink strong coffee, but like this coffee that we make, it's called Bosnian coffee, so it's different. But yeah, yeah, it's very strong, and okay. I drink like I don't know, like three big cups a day so how do you wow. how do you how are you preparing it do you do like a, a press a french press how you guys cook the coffee or the yeah. well we just um so uh, we you boil the water and then um you put the coffee in one of those uh i don't know cups and then you just put the boil water in the coffee and is it the metal the metal yeah the metal yeah oh wow that. what is that called <laughs> what is that, that called the metal the <laughs> i don't know that comment I think, I think his wife would prefer a babysitter for him, not the kid. You know what, Ashley? You, you, what? You, you're, what? Pro you're probably right, Ashley Alexander. You're, to you're totally right on that. Stefan needs a babysitter. Um, Joe Basher, I would hump Johnny's leg. Alex Payback's a bitch. Uh, uh, I'm looking at the comments. I love Bo 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 Boson. What kind of coffee? I never even heard that coffee before. I, I got to learn more about coffee, and I, and I do a show. Turkish coffee. Hey, that's maybe we should do a coffee, of the coffee, one coffee each week, or you know. No, so that's what you're doing, Funky. It's a Turkish style coffee that you're doing it in. in yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah, that's that's strong coffee. How about you, Rebecca? Are you a coffee person? Yes, just actually a little bit because um, at my mom's house we don't drink coffee. She doesn't like it. Um, I don't know why, but she likes cappuccino. <laughs> which is good because I like which it too. Is, which is really good. Now, 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 yeah, I want you to be careful because this, you guys are young and you're doing a show. So Uncle Stefan and Uncle Michael here, Oive, we're going to help you and protect you because there's a lot of creep people out there. And as much yes. joking as we do, you guys got to be careful, okay? And I don't yeah. want you guys to be sending links out to the creepers out there because I had some yeah. creepers on my show and they got banned. Okay. How to weed them out. And I and, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna joke. It's a lot of work to do this. And um, you guys are great. So if you ever need any help or any promotion, we are totally there to help you. Yeah, but if the creepers absolutely. come there, you, you tell your pain, don't don't socialize so much with them. You tell your folks because I'm looking at you guys like my kids right now, because I have a little one and it's it just crazy people out there. And I had creepers bothering my Patreon. So if anybody a creeper comes from my world and bothers you guys, you guys promise me you'll let me know. Okay. We'll send Oive. We'll send Oive to their house, and Oive will <laughs> will we'll kill them with kisses. I'll, I'll stop them. I'll stop them with those boots I'm, I'm back serious. there. Yeah. I love to hear faces. Yeah. From stalkers yeah. and this type of people, you know. Yeah. It, it, but it, yeah. it, it, it's it's good. It, it's tough out there, but it's 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 sweet that you guys are doing this with Ken, and I'm really happy for you guys. So whatever I could do to support yeah. you guys, more than happy to do it, and um. Just um, just just know that there's a lot of nuts out there because you guys are good kids and it's it's a good outlet right now to do this and it's fun, you know. But then yeah. some people take that fun and try to be not so much fun. <laughs> just putting it out there, okay? Because we love you, and, you. I, and I and I thank you for your support and everything you guys do. You know, yeah, you guys are great. And <laughs> you know, it's read cool. the uh, comment. Uh, uh, well, let me look at the comment, Debbie. Debbie, no creepers. That's right. Um, no, 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 no. Mike Fasano won. Mike Fasano. What, what oh, did the he, comments? Is, I don't see. Ah, is he giving oh. me what? What does that say? Kiss <laughs> it's like sleeping. Uh, that's good. At least, at least he'll be quiet. <laughs> Stephen Stoker Vernon, uh, Joe Basher. We all safeguard our little sisters. I would kick ass. Yes, 
Lynn Barker, Uncle Stefan to the rescue, Lolly, Lovely, uh, Debbie, Stefan Stalker. Oh my God! I yeah, Stefan is like the East, the ever ready bunny. I am. I'm 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 the ever ready bunny. I keep going and going and going. It's it's because I drink this. You are a cutie, honestly. You are very very good. To us. What about Stefan? Awesome. <laughs> Michael, don't make me. <laughs> now, 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 here's the funny thing. You know what? I got to tell you. Let's talk about Mike Rosano. He thinks he was the first one on your show. He's so full of himself. And all he does, my Tiger Army. I'm the hunter's drummer from Warrant. You know who was the first one on your guys' show? The real one? The real star? I mean, you yeah, got. it was you. It was, it was Brooklyn. Brooklyn was the first Brooklyn one. Brooklyn and you. Yeah. yeah. Brooklyn yeah. and you. She just it was like, it was like, it was like. The rock star crib. She's showing you her swimming pool. She showed you her rocks. Brooklyn. So, Mike, you think you're so. The Taco Bell doll. I remember. And so yeah. That's what I got to say to Mike Fasano. That's it. You know what? Brooklyn. Was <laughs> Ever since two minutes. That's right. Okay. Okay. I better get. I, I got to get going. But, Brooklyn, let me tell you something. You guys, Brooklyn thanks you. She loves you guys. Letting her be we the love first. Her. Um, we got Brooklyn right here, her little name. I got my spearhead coffee. What else do I got to show you? I got my dog blue down here. I got art from Dee Dee Ramon up there. A nice this, record award. You know, that's your thing. This is Ken needs one of these. He needs a good microphone, you know. We oh, yeah. all yeah, Joe Basher will be here to that's what a name Basher, Joe I'll be out here to protect all. Um and, and and hey, thank you guys. I just thank you for having me on the show. I hope thank I was. You. Out of, out of, out of, one more question. Out of coffee talk, Michael, Corey, Stefan, Pisano, who's your favorite one out of coffee talk? Oh, God. Mm. Oh Ken, God. Ken, you could answer that one, Ken. Can't answer. You know what? Suddenly I, I, I lost my earring. You lost your ear? He lost his earring. Or hearing. hearing, he lost. He, that's how he gets out, that, huh? That's a good way to get out of that. He's a he's a professional. Yeah. Huh? Like, oh shit, yes. my mic's not working. Wait, what? Who's the Who's the Stefan out of the gang out of you guys? Who's the one that's the Stefan? Right. Would you okay. Rebecca. 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 Yeah, I can yeah. see that. Rebecca's the Stefan, and okay, who is the who is the Fasano out of the gang? Oh uh, me. You you you're, you're the Fasano. Huh. Yeah, and, definitely. She's pretty chill. Then, so Ken would be the Oive? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Uh, you know what, Ken? We need. Me, oh, well, yeah, you look at this wall behind Ken it. is like Vic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ken, you're kind of Oive ish. Oive ish. Yeah, you're very Oive ish. Yeah. The, okay, the also, before you guys go, so um, I want Ken to say um, something about Michael. You know, the Indian thing. Indian thing? Okay. About me? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, so we have like uh, in Punjabi, in Punjabi language, actually, they say a lot of "oi hoi." So <laughs> when when we were discussing that you guys are gonna come up, uh, when we were saying your name instead mm -hmm. of saying Michael Oive, we were like Michael Oi Hoi. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You guys are missing. What you guys are missing a character. Who's the Corey? <laughs> See, there's not even a guy because no, because he doesn't matter. I should just get rid of him, <laughs> right? I should just get rid of him. He doesn't matter because he's because he's an idiot. That's why. Yeah, I, he's very annoying. Is he, he gave us an R rating this morning, Stefan. Who did? Corey. Really? Wait, do you think Corey's annoying? Did you see my comment? Say that my grandma thought I was watching porn. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? My little one is calling. I'm going to have to run and take care of it, but I love you guys, okay? On that no, note, no. I love Corey. I, I, I have to keep him around a little longer because I, I'm just waiting for his family to, to make fun of him more, but I love you guys. <laughs> Tomorrow, we'll see you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you, for America, funky. Thank you all. Mwah. You know, any help? Thank you for doing this. Thank any you help? for doing this. You got it from us. We support you guys, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We love you, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you, so Thank you guys. Okay. Oive, get the links from them and let's put it on our on our show. Maybe Absolutely. make make sure. a picture, make a picture of them and okay. we'll put it as, as with like the angels and have, as an ad spot for their show. Okay. Cool. All right. Very we cool. love you guys. Okay. Sure.
Thank you. Seven. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Absolutely. You guys are awesome. Oh. And I, I dig your enthusiasm. And Rebecca, you have an amazing voice. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I heard you. What was it I'm last week? Was it last week I heard you sing? Yes, um, I guess. Yeah. I think it was last week. Yeah. I, I can't remember. I think it was last week. But yeah, very good. Yeah. Very good. Uh, yes, I, 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 I always try to post um, covers on my my channel, my own channel. Yeah. So I think the, the more ballad, the more ballad type of uh, songs are, are, are more just my opinion are yep. more like your your voice lends itself better to that. Your vibrato is real good. You know, yeah, you have a very, you. very, very good ballad -y voice. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I guess Billie Eilish is a very, very big inspiration to me, and she, uh -huh. her type of voice, it's like mine, you know, like actually mine is like her, her voice. So it's it's just pretty cool to to see this new um, singers out there and actually make part of them because me right. and Almedina, me and Almedina, we sing. Almedina oh, sings. Sing she sings yeah. fucking well. She's amazing. Oh, wow. Hey, awesome. Nice to hear you. Hi, guys. How are you? I'm good. Hi, Where are you at? How are you doing? Good. I am in Port Lavaca, Texas. Yeah, I, I was going to say, you're, you're, uh, you're not too far from me. What, about six hours, maybe? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, League City is only a couple hours. Oh, I'm screwed up. <laughs> yeah. No. Because uh, I'm, oh, I'm thinking of Port... Uh, Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, Victoria, Texas. I'm like a half hour south of Victoria. Oh, okay. Very cool. Very so, cool. Yeah. I go up to Houston all the time. I used to uh, used to have friends in League City. In fact, really? the first Texas bar I went to was in League City. And I didn't have my driver's license, but I had my uh, certificate to my license to carry a handgun. And they uh -huh. let me in with that. Which well, is, I guess uh, so. <laughs> you you have to have that in Texas. She's it's like, required. let me in. Let me in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let me in. Let me in. I Do you remember the name of it? What there. place it was? Oh, it was in a strip mall. I have no idea what it was called. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, Lucky Almedina um, has but, a great voice, too. That's what Mike Fasana says. Yeah, I need to hear you. Here. I don't want to put you on the spot, Funky, but maybe if you want to bust out something. Uh, no. Yeah. No, well, okay, cool. Sing for us. Sing, 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 sing. Sing. Dude, come on. Um, Don't put it on the spot. You know what? When, when oh. you guys have something scheduled, I'll, I'll tune in and I'll listen to it, for real. No, actually, um, I have an idea. So I came up with it, like, I don't know, today. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, uh, Ken, Becca, and I were, you know, just uh, chatting on StreamYard, you know, uh, trying it out and we just started singing like all three of us and i was like dude mm -hmm. we have to do this live so like maybe one day we should do it and like all of us will sing so cool you should, that, yeah. yeah that'd be a good idea yeah. michael yeah. sings like make him sing <laughs> yeah just, just you know what's funny really no this is this is the bit. god's honest right. truth i can sing Must in front of a, a ton of people but if i'm sitting in front of one person i freak out for some reason same Isn't that weird yeah, like it's the same here. I don't, I don't, I don't get that, and I never get mm -hmm. nervous like going on stage. And and it's funny because we have this little ritual we do, like we're me and Brandon, one of the guitar players, we're off to the right side of the stage, so we're sitting there. And the very first time we played together, he's he's doing all this, and I'm I'm sitting there going like this. He goes, "You nervous?" I go, "No, you." He's like, "No." I go, "Why are we like freaking out?" He's like, "I'm not. I'm just anxious." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, the same way here." It's like <laughs> you're, you're anxious to get out there. And play it, then you know it's it's kind of less like second nature, is what you do. But it's funny because like mm -hmm. if I had to sit down in front of like y'all right now and sing a song, I'd be like, uh, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? So you get it. Yeah. It's weird. Go. Michael, you have really the same hair. What it? Huh? We have like the same hair, dude. We do, don't we? Yours is longer That's though. Mine's crazy. almost there. Well, look at that cut. Kind of has the same hair too. <laughs> Yeah, back in my hair, hair too. I don't, I, I don't get it. Like it's blonde here, just here. I, I, I painted it, but you know, like it's weird because I. <laughs> every time I try to fix it, it it's grown out though know? since I first saw you. 
Yeah, yeah, it is. Unfortunately, because I'm gonna cut it off again. Did you I see like Ken it. laughing? What was Ken laughing about? My uh, inspiration for this, my because it's used to be all blonde right here. Um, uh, before quarantine, Bonnie Raitt. That was my inspiration to go blonde up front. Oh. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. a you know she's a very before uh, your time under, kids. underrated songwriter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's definitely before my time. <laughs> So he just removed her? Um, I think he did. Yeah. He was laughing at something. I don't know what he was laughing at. Yeah. He did. He told me. Oh, no. What, what happened? I think maybe he didn't like Bonnie Raitt. Uh, he, you know, Ken and I are in the same line of work. So maybe he went, felt threatened. Co comedy? And, no. <laughs> no. Can you tell Both us about... Professional nerds. Professional nerds. <laughs> hey, that's that's a good gig though. Don't don't knock it. You guys are smart. What's well, going on? He got rid of Rebecca. What happened? He removed Ken. Rebecca. Can don't uh, we can swear on this show, right? Huh? Can we can we huh? swear? Funky, it's your show. Are we allowed to swear? Yeah. Of course, yeah. Swear on what? Okay, Ken, yeah. stop being a salty bitch. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> and how he yeah. brings the connection. Okay, sure. Yeah, so uh, tell us about your profession. Yeah. As a nerd? As a nerd. Oh, mine? <laughs> yeah. Like, well, I like Legos. <laughs> <laughs> I met my husband on the robotics team in high school, so we're both nerds. Oh. Um, but I am uh, I develop websites and software. I'm a JavaScript developer and very cool. I work for maybe you can help right? us get rid of some weird people on our band page because Oh hell yeah. Have, no, seriously, there's this I don't know how this person keeps getting in, but they, they come on and they make these stupid comments and it's like I even went down through all the people. I don't know how it happens, but they keep getting in there. But it's we just weird. need to find his IP address and get his house address, and I'll go Kill and take them. care of it for you. <laughs> just, he's real, like Vic. Vic, yeah, he is. So, um, you know, Vic always removes others, which is cool. Like the Vic hook, you know, Vic from the Ryan Roxy show. Mm -hmm. uh, you yeah. know, he always removes people before they even say bye or something. So yeah, Ken is definitely brutal like Vic. Yeah, the Vic hook. The Vic oh, hook. Nice. I like that. Yeah. And there's a, they actually made like a shirt as merch. Uh, something, it says something like, uh, I got a hook from Vic. Like on uh, a shirt. Like that. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So I have a question for you, uh, Funky. Where, yeah. where you're at, are, are you guys still like uh, pretty much shut down? Like are you limited to where you could go and... Stuff like that. You're talking about the quarantine thing. Yeah, the quarantine thing. Yeah, so, so in Bosnia, like, um, everything, everything, almost everything was shut down to, like, I don't know, this week. And uh, since this week, everything, you know, like, coffee coffee shops, uh, sh shopping centers, everything is suddenly open, you know. Um, people are allowed to go out, but, like, Kid, the people under 18, they're allowed to go like on, I don't know, like uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and some other days. But you know, and mm -hmm. people who are older than 65, they're like allowed, I don't know, two days. So yeah, like people are still working, which is um, like everyone is still working, which is I don't know, weird. Yeah. So yeah, that that's about it. Like schools are also closed. We we have online classes, and it's kind of hard to you know, to keep up with everything. But you mm -hmm. know. We're doing everything we can, you know, to cope. But like your it. stores, your stores are open like normal. Yeah, they are. Even uh, like uh, retail stores, like uh, uh, clothing stores and stuff like that. Oh uh, no, no, just you know, for grocery shopping. Oh, okay, you know. yeah, that's how it is here too. But they're talking mm -hmm. tomorrow uh, about opening everything, and uh, Abby, you know this here. Mm -hmm. I, you know, it's kind of a weird thing to me because. Um, I'm not like paranoid, but I'm also, I think sometimes you need to put common sense before eagerness. 
you know, and I know everybody's itching to get back out and doing stuff, but it takes one person to kick all this all back up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they don't even have a vaccine for it yet. Or so maybe that's just my opinion, but uh, I don't know. I just think it's just. No, I agree with maybe you. Maybe too like, soon. Yeah. And where you're at, Michael, I mean, mm -hmm. you're near Houston and it's yeah. such a metropolitan area. And even down here, it's, it's further out. It's but busy. Yeah. It's just, it's uh, busy. It's a people. Yeah. yeah. We have plants around here, a lot of plants and we get a lot of uh, workers coming in from the Valley and just mm -hmm. all over. And um, right. you can't control where it's coming from, where people are coming from and stuff like that. And right. We're not so isolated. Yeah. We'll see. But what about I am you, Rebecca? Are you able to get a hold of your bananas for your drink and stuff? <laughs> no, it's just the internet. Just, just <laughs> fucking turned it off. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm upset. But let me show you something. Remember my grandma's sister, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, wait. There she goes. What up? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh my hey, god. Look, look, Jeez. look. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> look, I did this drawing on her leg. Wait. Oh, that's cool. What 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 did you use? What is that? Pen? It's a pen, um, a permanent pen. I used to do it. <laughs> okay, this one you're gonna get nuts. Wait, did she know she, you were drawing on her? You can just like yes, draw she did. On her. Okay. <laughs> Does she know you're showing these pictures? I don't know because she don't speak <laughs> English. So what? What's her name? It's fine. <laughs> Susie. Susie. So Aunt Susie and Uncle Michael. Okay. Got a cool ring there. Oh, cool. like oh my god! I'm Ready? not gonna call you uncle. Just, just, just saying. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Look what Stefan started. Yeah, oh, he, he's good at yeah. that, isn't he? He's good at that. That's okay, right. hey, so I'm, um, I'm letting you guys, I'm letting you guys know. I have a home computer, and my phone had a bad connection. Oh, yeah, he oh. was bad. I was wondering what happened to him. Yeah, uh, like um, yeah. So, Actually, what what it is, guys? Fred's just he's conceited and he doesn't like press. I'm, uh, uh, I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> no, he's a good guy. He's like a brother to me. So yeah, yeah. I have a question. And he's for... a phenomenal drummer. Yeah. Uh, um. So, question for Ken: Is anyone else in the backstage? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Should we put him on? Where is Ken? Somewhere. He's hiding somewhere. Uh, hey, y'all. I want to know somewhere what, that, what that is behind Ken. He's got like this pink little, like a Barbie shelf thing going on. You seen it? Yeah. Like, you should is like from the, what is I that? guess I guess he was in the bathroom. Oh. Oh, that's why he was smiling. Okay. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Welcome back, buddy. Thank you. So that's what you think of me. <laughs> why do you why do you have an echo, Ken? Where are you at? <laughs> I put things together, you know. Strong Don't mess up your keyboard. Connection. Putting the show together. I'm being Rick right now. <laughs> oh, he's being yeah. professional right now. Yeah. Rebecca. <laughs> yeah, Lolly, I know, right? What? <laughs> yes. Shout out to Fred. Yeah. Ken, is anyone else backstage? No, I don't see anyone backstage. I that, guess. Mike is a little just enter hey, with good it as you say. Just saying. What? I guess Mike Fasano should enter just a little bit, but you know, who am I to say something? <laughs> okay, Fasano, gonna... come out and play. I'm gonna play. <laughs> oh god. Okay, um, Michael, I'm going to do, one day I'm going to do uh, the hair, like, the crazy hair, like, up, and I'm going to send this to you, and I'm going to do a, a, a date with both of us with this hair. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. Here, when I get yeah, my Michael, hair cut again, I'll be able to stick, we'll, we'll have a day where we put it, that's what we'll do. When I finally do get my hair cut, product we'll come recommendations? On. Huh? 
product recommendations for getting your yes, hair up? Yes, I, I do, honestly. For that, getting this is it funny, up. Because I've, right I've tried all kind of stuff and nothing works. And, and I finally found this stuff called uh, Rock Hard Gel. And it comes in a oh silver my God. bottle. <laughs> no, seriously. It's a little more expensive. But, it, man, I tell you what. It's funny because I, I, I would be outside and the wind would be going crazy. And, and everybody's just looking at my hair like, dude, your hair's not even moving. I'm like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> you, you yeah, I, like mean, I, I turned myself into Michael Jackson, so I can turn in another Michael. Like, <laughs> 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 I love it. <laughs> That's very cool. <laughs> Look at that. Can oh you moonwalk god. though? That's the question. Yes, yeah. I can. Can yes, you really? I can. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do, you, like do you have a Ferris wheel and a monkey? Huh? What? Do you have a Ferris wheel and a monkey? Michael Jackson did. <laughs> no, I don't. But I have uh, a dog. And the cat is almost like a monkey, so. Yeah, you can pass that off. Yeah, it works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are funny. Oh my god. What the fuck are we talking about? Like, Rebecca, you need something for your wall back okay, there. Okay, okay. Look who's yeah, there. That's, that's actually not my room. It's not oh. my room. So oh, hey, hey. Oh, how are you? How are you? We oh. good. Uh, um, since Fred isn't on, I thought I'd come on and give some drummer energy. Oh. And well, actually, do, do a roll, Mike. Since, since Stefan's gone, I thought I'd come on. <laughs> I couldn't handle his nonsense anymore. His nonsense. <laughs> if I could, right. if I could, I would. I would show you the drum that is just behind my this wall. But the internet doesn't go there. So, and people out there, it's making so much noise. So, cool. It's not worth it. Seriously, McVeigh, I think you need to get on. On the Susie tip, on the <laughs> they say in America. Well, the only thing that is, Mike, great. there's no, I don't know, uh, what language is that? Portuguese, yes, I don't know Portuguese. Listen, let me it's tell okay, you she, she's learning. Love, English. I teach love her love. An international language. You're right, <laughs> that's okay. right. I think I could go like this, I could do a virtual hug, like, yeah, sure. <laughs> Like kiss the, the you know like the, the camera you know yeah yeah, yeah. Cool. I guess she's gonna like it. <laughs> well, cool. Hey, your show is great. It's great to see um, you guys doing your thing. Um, glad Stefan's gone. Um, <laughs> sorry, Fred didn't make it on. Fred, Fred has the best name. I mean, that is hip hip hop story. One time, somebody uh, wrote to me. Wrote me a, a pack, sent me a package, and they spelled my name Pisano with a P H A P H A S A N O, like Fred's name with the P H. Oh, wow. Anyways, very cool. Oh, wow. Nobody cares. Anyways, uh, I think Michael, you should definitely communicate with this Susie so, because you know what. She's going to be your your biggest Brazilian fan, and when you guys tour Brazil, I need a Brazilian you fan. Will, you'll be hooked up. Yeah. Well, you have already one, but I don't know who. But yeah, I mean, who is it? <laughs> oh, it's me, Rebecca. Oh. <laughs> you know, um. <laughs> I was going to say another thing. What I really it loved it, uh, at the beginning of your show today was the tribute you, that you guys did to the Indian actor who passed away. And I thought that was uh, really yeah, that was cool. Game, right? yeah. I, don't, I don't get to see movies or do anything like that um, here in Burbank where I live. But, um, you know, I'm kidding, right? But I just, I'm not familiar with him. But, uh, but that was really cool that you did that. That was nice. That was a nice little touch. Yeah, that was yeah, cool. Yeah. Well, Ken just sent this to us saying that this actually happened. Um, and what he happened? asked what us if they died, they passed away. Yeah, but how, but how did he you know? die? I don't I don't know. I just just talked to, to Ken and he said, uh, can I can I put the pictures on it and you know just just put the, their names and say uh, rest in peace and I said, Yeah, sure, of course we say. Me and 
Wait, her. Yeah. <laughs> her. It's fucking different. I hate like, this. Yeah, like this. I like hate this. this. It's weird, yeah. right? Well, to be honest, I mean, if I'm pointing to 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 Fazello, on my point of view, it's like that. Hello, Fred. There he is. There he is. Fred. There it is. Mike, meet <laughs> Fred. Mike, Fred, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Fred. Hey, it's good hey, to Mike, you, man. How you doing, Mike, man? Big fan. Talking Big about fan. you. Great drummer right there. Super cool, and and uh, and I'm glad I got to meet you. Fred's the one that saw um, the guys the same here, man. The Tiger pleasure, Army. Man. Uh, That's rad. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, yeah, that was really cool, man. Really cool. Thanks. Thank you. So, thank you. Yeah, Tiger Army's got a uh, like a you know it's one of those things. I mean, if you, whatever band or whatever art you do, it's not about. I mean, obviously you have your massive bands like Kiss and Green Day and you know, uh, what would you call One right. Direction. But then there are bands like Tame Fury or Tiger Army or whatever. You, you sort of make a name for yourself. And it's really kind of cool to see that when I get periodically people sending me pictures of, because they know of the band because of me, maybe they didn't, wouldn't have known about it, but they remember the name. and the. Oh, level. yeah. Cool well, well you that. know, well, when I went to talk to this guy, he knew your whole career. He knew your whole story. And I thought that was awesome. You know, it's crazy. Yeah, so he knew cool. all about you. He even made a video to send to you. He was huge fan. We uh, we I posted it and I said something to him. I wrote or I I reposted it and I wrote a note to him. But it's cool. Yeah. But I hope I hope. Uh, oh yeah, very cool. Well, I hope the next time I get to Houston with Tiger Army, uh, you guys will come out and we'll get to hang out a little bit. Um, you know, it's funny, uh, Mike. Oh, no you, were, you were here. At, uh, you were here. I think in November, and I hadn't. I didn't know you at the time, and I didn't know that until we started doing the show. And I was like, man, if I would have known, I absolutely would have been there. You play at the White Oak Music Hall. Yes, what a crazy yeah. venue! Have you played there? Yeah, yeah. we played there. The, it's weird because they had like something upstairs and then the downstairs, and it's like two separate venues. Yeah, we yeah, we, we played we played there. I think with the Dio Disciples and then Kill wow. Switch Engaged. Kill Switch Engaged. Yeah, we played there with them. Yeah, it was real cool. Yeah, you know, um, we yeah. played down. Yeah, maybe next time you're here too, M Michael signed something for you too, even if you don't want it. That's that's how he does. Most <laughs> no. people don't even want. It. <laughs> So he signs it for him. Anyway. Do you know what I want to do is I, I, I if, if you guys could open for Tiger Army, that'd be great because that could be another thing when I come yeah. on his his own show. Like, hey, remember me? Uh, we open for Tiger Army. I took a picture, a picture with you. Hey, that'd be great. But you know what's funny about the White Oak Music Hall? I remember um, going there and I was having problems with uh, my drums, my brand new drums. I had a couple of things going on. I was stressing on fixing this snare and I was literally herring, hanging by one string of my snare strainer on one and one on my backup drum. And I thought, if this blows up, what am I going to do? I'm going to have one string on the backup snare anyways. But the, but the least of my worries was my drums that were barely hanging on uh, to make it through the show is they have this video, not a video wall. But it's probably a video wall, but it's a big white wall of lights behind you where they put your logo up so you don't put a banner on they, they put the logo up and that that white light was the craziest thing because it was so bright behind you and it did something to my monitors because i had inner monitors really it, it it affected electrically like what was happening for some reason having all of that massive wall behind you uh being a video screen it was like it was it was weird but uh anyways we had a good show i have a really cool shot outside of that place standing by the opening band's van that they had a really cool van. Uh, they were called, uh, oh God, I forget. I can't, I'll, I'll put it up later, but um, anyways, I like the but, stage yeah, in that place. Texas. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. i tell you what was, uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what was unique, Mike, is uh, when Say we played there, promise. they have a, did you see the stadium that's outside? next to it it's still it's all part of the same venue it's really weird and alice cooper played there um i think what was it fred a week after we did or something i don't remember it's just it's a really you know, interesting venue uh i just remember there was another bigger venue like next door to us and yes and that's that's actually part of it still even bigger than that. So there's an yeah. upstairs, there's where we played, and then there's and a then huge there's... venue like a couple doors down. Yeah, like a pavilion. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, somebody somebody was playing there. Somebody like kills Switch and Gage was playing there. We lost Fred. Hey, so... Fred, we lost can you hear Fred's us? Voice. 
Can't hear him. Can't hear you, buddy. Maybe you. go out. There he is. Is that him? Nope. Maybe if he signs out and then comes back on again, it might work. That's what happened earlier on our show. Yeah, he said he'll do that. Now, we were trying to I narrow think. it down, Mike, when uh, you were with Warren and you guys did the... Uh, <laughs> What is that? Jackson Sorry, cat? my kitty's walking. My human kitty is walking underneath me. Ouch. <laughs> we actually have, um, if you don't know about it, we actually have a Michael the Bar situation here. You know, can't hear you, bro. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> and he's yeah. frozen. And he hasn't yeah. shaved since he's been inside. Look at him. He looks like, looks like a uh, caveman. I was like that until I came on their show last week. Yeah. By the way, I need Michael, Mike Fazzano. Yeah. I need oh. to go to... <laughs> to the, the, the salon you always talk about because I don't have eyebrows because I shaved them. <laughs> okay. I shaved them and I don't know how to fix it. So um, Sharpie. Just don't touch them again and let them grow out. <laughs> Sharp go big. I, I, I like I like my face with the bra the eyebrows. It's just so cool. You know, you my mom told me I look stuff. like I have cancer, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like your mom. Your mom says you look like you have cancer. That's great. She loves you too. <laughs> you know what my mom would say? You can't do that. What are you crazy? Your eyebrows? Yeah, she did it. Yeah. I mean, can't do that. the first thing I, I just I, I shaved it without her knowing about it, and I then and then she was like drinking and sitting on the sofa with my, my stepfather and I just came and said, Mom, are you ready? And she said, <laughs> what are you talking about? And I said, I don't have eyebrows anymore. And then she said, you are fucking horrible. You awful. You shouldn't have told her. Every time she, she gets... sees me, every time she sees me, she's like, when did you shave your eyebrows? What the fuck? You look horrible. What? Yeah. Bye bye eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Bye bye eyebrows. <laughs> did you shave them? Um, because f the first the first reason I no, did when, it was not because not why. they said when when did you when. shave them? When oh, I don't know, maybe three weeks ago or something like that. So and, and you haven't touched them since, and they're and they're slowly growing back. Yeah, they're growing back, <laughs> but in the middle I, of I, it, I, like here. It's, it doesn't have hair. You know, it's just around. Funky, we got yeah. eyebrows, huh? Huh? Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, when I did this, if you can see to my eyebrows. Yeah. See, oh, see, yeah. she does. Not, she does this type of stuff too. So I did that like I don't know two weeks ago, and I just I spent like, three days with my parents, and they didn't realize. <laughs> but that that's just prove that they don't even look at me. So, yeah. Yeah. I have that nature that's later. You, I got no fun with faith. <laughs> and, and that's why you found a friend in Thanks Johnny Depp. You found friends in social uh, media uh, video shows, podcasts, because your parents aren't <laughs> noticing these things. Yeah, I mean, when I I first actually I was using I was using like my my bangs like that. To hide I don't it. use them anymore. And I, I just dyed my eyebrows first before I shaved them, so they are they were like blonde, and my mom didn't notice until I showed her. I I came, I came to her and said, "Mom, you're not seeing anything wrong, like on my face, not nothing." She might not have even noticed though. No, this one, th this time she saw it. She saw it, but you know. She's like, you're never going to do it again. Because if you do, I'm going to shave your head. And then you're going to see what's going to happen. And I say, yes, please shave my head because I want to. Then you can draw. I, I have a funny story. I have a funny eyebrow story. We were in Europe in 2016 opening for a band called uh, Bro The Broilers or Broilers. Um, and we were playing arenas. But we had come off a tour in the States, which I had got my eyebrows done before I left on the tour. And then we really had a few days to get to Europe. And, you know, I uh, was out there and I noticed, oh, gosh, you know, halfway through the tour, 
uh, or a few, you know, uh, that of a month tour. Oh shoot, my eyebrows are. I need to tighten them up. So I took my, my I have a little beard trimmer, uh, with the clipper it has, it has uh, like a three, five, two, one uh, size, yeah, yeah. whatever, and and I can trim it with like a three, the number three uh, mark on it. And and it can just take it down a little. It doesn't. It doesn't. You know, whatever. Make them shape that, but it just takes the, the bush yeah. out of it, the bushiness out of it. And um, so we were in. We were hustling to get on stage, and I had taken uh, taken the thing, and it went down too low, and it, and it really took them down. Not as low as yours, Rebecca, but pretty low. The little thing don't. And I had to get eyeliner and fill my 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 <laughs> to make it. I had to fill my eyebrows in with eyeliner. I had to do that the whole tour. I can't. My, and singer, worked, huh? my singer never said anything until they were starting to grow out. He noticed it almost the two seconds to the last day of the tour and said, "Hey, what happened?" Well, don't go, don't, don't, don't get your eyebrows trimmed if you're going to be like that because it was pretty bad, anyways. But I had to fill it with <laughs> eyeliner. That's my well, <clears throat> if I try to to um, paint my eyebrows, like to, to, to fix it, uh, I'm going to look like that. So I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Did you draw so that? I'm staying with, without them for, for a little time. So, yeah. That's <laughs> oh so funny. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say, oh, I, I had a model friend that Ryan Roxy knew uh, and I, she's a model, still a model, but her name is Josephina, and she was a model in New York, and we yeah. met her years ago, 20 years ago. And uh, she was beautiful, like Cindy Crawford, and um, and that was the whole style. Cindy Crawford's a famous model back in the 80s. You don't know who she is now. But um, beautiful uh, face. And um, she said to me a long time ago, before I even ever did my, my eyebrows, she said, you know, eyebrows are, are really like uh, you know, 90% of your face, they really frame your face. It's a weird thing. And, and Al Medina, you, you obviously would know that because you act and model and do all that stuff and have probably have had headshots and stuff. Um, yeah. In fact, at one time I, I, I'm in a band called the train wrecks. It's a, it's a punk rock sort of band. And uh, uh, we were uh, in a uh, acting agency to be cast as a band or whatever. And, in this agency, the band was put on there. Um, they when you like got, the Dan you, band like agency. What? It's like, like the Dan band, like in movies. Yeah, to be put in movies, uh, you know, uh, you know, whatever. Um, so you do these auditions, but they wanted you to get headshots. They if if you go to their website and you looked at every headshot of the guys, they all had a similar look. They all had the same eyebrows. The girls all had a similar look. Th that was just the way they. They branded the look of people. It was almost like um, vanilla ice cream and chocolate ice cream, but there wasn't any flavors in between. It was the craziest thing. And I look like none of the actors. And even if I had my eyebrows done like them, uh, and I didn't have to because I was in a band picture together. Uh, but and it's the weirdest thing. But but it's it's a thing. It's a look, and it's a I don't know. Eyebrows are are, are a thing in, in in the business. So and you don't have any. Rebecca. Yeah, I mean, I I don't like it. Like, I don't like the the. <laughs> she said I don't like, like it. About it. it. Let's talk about it. No, 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 no. I like I like to be yeah. like without them. I like my way. Cool. I, I I mean, I am different. You're I cool. Yeah. That's the thing. I don't like to be like the other persons. You know, I don't like it. Yeah, I, I yeah. want to you be agree. different. You want, you like I want to be myself. Thing. And. I mean, I, I do drawings on myself and, you know, because I can't get tattoos yet, but when I do, I'm going to be over it. All my body full of tattoos. I have sure about it. And, you know, That's like true. when I did this, actually, the reason was for me to do my own eyebrows, uh, but in different colors, you know, I could do them like pink or blue or, you know, purple in any color I wanted to. So that was cool. my Good. goal, you know. Some so, girls get them tattooed on. Yeah, I mm, I don't like it. I mean, my sister, my sister, my old sister, she she did a makeup on me, and I I wasn't already without I was already without the the, the, the eyebrows, 
And she was like, oh, my God, how can I fix it? Uh, I'm going to try to fix it for you. And, you know, like, she started saying and she started doing. Um, that's that's her. Wait, that's my my older sister. And <laughs> that's the makeup she did on me. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's <laughs> you look sad. That's you look like funny. a singer yes. of Simply Red. Yeah, I mean, that's funny. That's not me, you know. That's not me at all. You're like, what the fuck? Well, that's can I give you? Can I give you some advice about the tattoos? Um, yeah. Be really think about think about because it's such a whenever you you have a few years before you do it, but really think about um, think about the big picture of of how your body will be with all of the tattoos. So yeah. be choiceful in in the tattoos you you do get, but but don't think because um, I'll tell you why I got this girl on my arm, this girl on my arm here, right? Can you see it? Yeah. See how big she is. It was the yeah. first tattoo I had. I had nothing else on my arm, and I went and it was only supposed to be this big, right? Oh wow! And, and I told the tattoo guy. No, 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 there's no, just, just, just make it bigger. And, and it's like, you're, they sometimes they say your first tattoo is your worst tattoo. Um, I didn't think that I was going to get all the other stuff. I don't know what I was thinking when I got this tattoo and had to try to fill my whole blank arm with the girl. So, so really be, really be thoughtful in what you do. My, my friend, John, I play in a band with also is, is John Gregory band. Um, his, his daughter, Luna Rose, who you should check Luna Rose should check her out on Instagram. Um, uh, she has she's she's just turned eighteen or nineteen now, but um, I think her parents were letting her get tattoos like right at eighteen or seventeen. And she has the coolest. She has a lot of tattoos, but they're sporadically around her her arms or her legs or whatever um, in the yeah. coolest spots. And and I thought, gosh, how tasteful for somebody that young to know what to do, where to do it, what her big picture is. You know what I mean? So yeah. be careful with the tattoos. Josh Todd from Buck Cherry was on the show this morning, and he has had some stuff covered up. You know what? When he said that, I thought, man, maybe I should cover the girl up and do something else in that spot. You know what I mean? Because it's I don't like I don't like it, yeah. right? But um, but anyways, so be 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 thoughtful. And and the eyebrows, girls, uh, fucking Al Medina, you would probably do it. Don't get your fucking eyebrows tattooed because because here's the deal: you, you're into a shape right now. But but it's it looks so weird like it's really yes, weird. It uh, it's weird because you still have to you still have to do some makeup to it or it looks weird. So relax yeah. on that. You have a lot of time. And if you do do it, do it when you're sixty. Yeah, uh, that's that's uh, how I want to look in some years. I did these yeah. drawings on myself. Cool. Yeah, uh, I, actually, to this day, I cover it most of my body with this pan. I, I just did random drawings to just cover it, and you know, and this this drawings on my body they stay like for four or five days. Um, so yeah, and I I I want to work with that too. I want to. Yeah. Rebecca, do you know what you know, do you know what henna ink is? What? I do. Have you ever heard of a henna ink, a henna tattoo? Ken knows. Yes. I bet you can yes. knows. Yeah, we use it too. Uh, that, in, yeah, we use it here too. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that'd be a cool alternative. To, like, if you wanted to try out something, do that first. Yeah. And then if you think, hey, I really like this. Yes. When the time comes, my, then you'll know. Yeah. My grandma wants to, to, to go buy this with me and, you know, cool. try this on people. Uh, because actually, when school were, were open um i was doing drawings on people but like cool. they pay me and i do a drawing you know on them cool. so it was very cool because i get my money and they get a drawing on their arms or you know whatever leg or right. any part so yeah and my mom actually she has um a a tattoo on her arm that is a little doll and I've done that drawing when I was 12, I guess. And she she just came into the house like, oh, I did a tattoo. And it's your drawing. And I said, oh, my God. 
God! And I started crying, you know, like it was crazy because my mom has like something that is not gonna get out so easy. You know, yeah. that was crazy. That's crazy. But yeah, cool. and Abby asked, uh, what is my what I want to do for my first tattoo? Um, I guess it's the here, um, a tattoo I want to do here. That is the, um, the date of my mother's birth. But in, what is, I don't remember the name of the, the thing, but it's not like numbers. It's like the, the X, E, I, you know. I, I Roman forgot. numerals. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, I want to do it like that because um, my mom, it's everything for me, you know. Uh, if if I, I, I didn't have her, oh. Yeah, and Aunt, Aunt Susie is going to be everything to Michael McVeigh. Yes. I mean. Does Aunt Susie have tattoos? No. Can we get Aunt Susie no. on? Can we get Aunt oh, Susie? God. I want to come on when Aunt Susie's on. Wait, I'm going to I'm gonna check it what out. What about you, Funky Al Medina? Who do you got for Michael McVeigh? Let's hook him up. He's a good oh, guy. Oh, well, Just a second. I'm going to check it out because he deserves it. She's like, I wouldn't force somebody it. like that. <laughs> is that wind chimes I hear? What is that noise? It's uh, we have a ring doorbell, and when oh, the sensor okay. goes off, it just it's chimes. Or you could have any, I could even have a, a Tame Fury drum break ah. if I wanted to. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, Mike, do you ever do solos? Like Fred won't ever do a solo. He says he don't. I have to with Tiger Army. I hate doing solos. I have to every night. I have to do about. He a said the same thing. He said I hate I hate, I hate drum it. solos. I fucking hate it. It's you know what it is. It's like walking the plane of a pirate <laughs> ship. ship Johnny Depp. <laughs> you start the show. I, th I know there's a plank at the end of the ship. I've got to walk it every day. I'm, I'm going to either sink or swim. It's there. It's not right. not going to go there. You're going, it's sink or swim, and it's just do it now. I just do it, and it's like, I just get Is it to it. give the guys a break, or is it to fill a spot? I'm calling her. No, I'm it's calling. just, you know, he just gives us, a uh, like, a nod of the hat um, to just give, when he announces, us, like, the last song, just to give us a little, you know, shiny moment. And it's great. I'm glad that he does it. It's really cool. You. But personally... If I if I didn't have to play a drum solo, I wouldn't. I'm just I'm better playing behind a band, supporting a band. So I hate doing drum solos, but I have to do one every night with Tiger Army. Yeah. Oh well. Wait, I'm calling Susie, and let's oh, see wow. if she's listening. <laughs> Funky Almadina. I'll leave her a message. Hi, Susie. You don't understand the word I'm saying, but. No, 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 no. Okay, so let's do like that, Michael. You're gonna say, <laughs> "Hola." Yeah. Repeat it. Hola. I'm going to say what? Say it again. Hola. Eu. Hola. Eu. Yeah. So. Who's that? Eu sou. Hola. Oh, oh, hola. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, wait. Hola. It's hola, hello. Hola, so. Eu. Right. <laughs> Eu sou. Say that again. Eu, eu sou. sou. Michael. Eu sou. Michael. Yeah. Yes. That means I am Michael. She didn't answer. What the heck? Wait. It's okay. We'll get her. We'll we'll, we'll have another guest uh, show with me and Michael on when <laughs> when you know she's gonna be on. So funky, I'm gonna, you got nothing for Michael. You gotta have somebody. No. Unfortunately, no one. So okay, I'm planting a seed. You think about your older friends. Oh God, you know what I mean? Aunts, <laughs> you know, friends, aunts. It's like we just gotta get Michael. Listen, Michael, you're a great guy. We just, you know, sometimes you gotta get out of the pool you're in, which is Houston or Texas, and you gotta go international. Yeah, I know. You know, <laughs> I'm not what about this one? Oh my what God. <laughs> Take her out. It's a glare. <laughs> she has eyebrows. Listen, guys, I only popped. I only popped on to say hi. I don't want to ruin your show, but it was good to see oh, you. I look forward to seeing you guys again. Thanks for having me, Michael. Uh, enjoy the rest of your show. 
And uh, I will talk to you guys soon, okay? Yeah. Her sister is the best, okay? My grandma, right, she's Maggie. much better for Venka. Okay. All right, guys, I'll see you later. See? Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Ciao. <laughs> Hi, ciao. Ciao, yeah. <laughs> uh, Christini. See? Christini. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. See? I see I speak Brazil. You gotta get sharp and remember what they teach you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna retain it. Yes. All right. Ciao, ciao. Ciao for now. Ciao for now. Bye. 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 Ciao for now. Thanks for coming. No, the whole, the whole. It's not Mike. Oh, Michael. I falar. Oi, eu sou Michael. Para te associar. Hey, what she's really, what she's really saying is. We were what she's really saying is that was the cool mic, and here's the stupid one. No, come on, no, it's because I always talk about Michael Fazano, Mike Fazano for for I'm my grandma because like he was the first one on the show, and I said, "Oh my God, I got Mike Fazano." I I got Mike Fazano on the show, and you know his drummer and stuff, and I started talking about him. And every time he sends me a message or something like that, I tell them. So it's nuts. It's just nuts that I, I we have this contact with you. I think it's really cool that here we are. We're we're all over the world, and yet you know we're like, it's just cool. It's a cool thing. You know? We are apart. And close. I feel blessed. I feel blessed to know you guys now. So thank you. You know. Thank you, you. you guys are really cool. You. you really are. By the way, yeah. we cannot yes. have um, three Michaels in our show. <laughs> you cannot? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's confusing. We it? had three. First we, well, two first we, had, we had episode one with Mike Fasano. Mm -hmm. Now we had you. And in episode three, we're going to have another Michael. I'm mm. changing my name to Ken. <laughs> yeah, so I'll go have to check. Yeah, I don't know. What's the third, Michael? Mike, can I guess? <laughs> yes, he actually stated the answer, but is it a surprise? If I don't want to blow it, if it's a surprise, no, 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 no. Okay. I, I'm really excited, I'm really happy no one got it. <laughs> But try to guess. Do I know who it is? Yeah, I mean, you know yes. him. Yes, you know. I, I do. You know him. Know him. You've <laughs> had him on your show. Hey. Okay, that was too much of information. Yeah. Oh, Alago. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what a great guy. He's so cool. Seriously. Bro, we're gonna have very like cool. Good, good job, guys. Good job. Thanks. We're going to have him. How crazy. That guy That guy knows everybody. Like, really. He knows everybody. I He's got not. I, I, I saw that he knew Nina Simone. I'm nuts about oh, that. Oh, yeah. Woman. You know, like, her name is right. What an amazing voice head. she had. Yeah. Oh. What an amazing voice she had. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I just Look think it's that. cool. The guy knows. He's got such a history, you know. Ken Oyvay. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, me oh, Oi, tia. It's Susie. Então, eu vou te ligar. Eu vou te ligar. Oh, I gotta remember. What was I supposed to say? É, Olá. Então, no WhatsApp, por chamada de vídeo, será atende, tá? Isso, não tá verdade. É muito importante. Pode ser a, a coisa mais importante do, do resto da sua vida. All right, listen All right, up, guys. So shall we wrap guy. it up? Okay, I'll call you, okay? Wait. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> I just told her that it's better she answer because this might be um, the most important thing that's going to happen on her life. Oh. Okay. I'm trying her. already. Remember. <laughs> Hola. Yeah, we, we should so save it for Michael. another time. You know, Michael, would you like to join us some other time as well? Absolutely. I'd love to. Awesome. Excellent. How yeah. great is that?
Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, man. It's not going to work because my grandma's phone so, just turned yeah. Sure. Yeah, let Listen, this you guys have, Anything else? Uh, you guys have a, a great day. Sure. Great night for you. Uh, great night. Right? <laughs> Ken, because you're a nighttime. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having us on. We really appreciate it. Hey, man. Thanks a lot. Rebecca, good luck with your eyebrows. <laughs> I'm going to fix I don't it. Think you heard me. You got to fix it? it. So. I'll try to. We're all here for you, Rebecca. We're, we're here for you and your eyebrows. Okay. Just remember yeah. That. Thank you. Pray for it. Save your eyebrows. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to grow up again because look at that. There's just like little hairs. There's no, no, it's no. It's not hair like they're all. totally not there. I could still take a marker and. <laughs> I tried, okay? I tried. That's don't listen to me. I give bad advice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uncle Michael. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> listen guys, this was this was really fun and we had like a blast today and it was really amazing you guys joined us and you know uh took out your time for us and thank you we can't thank you enough actually for doing this for us. you know thanks a lot and you guys are welcome on our show anytime you come yes. see your show. likewise yeah so <laughs> Sure. Thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you to everyone in the comments. Thank you for thank watching. You Please do like, subscribe, and share. Thank you, Lali, I for the eight. formality, okay? Yeah. And do follow Michael. Do follow Adika. And don't forget to watch Coffee Talk Live with Adika because yes. it's fun over there and it's not for the week. Be good to your folks and they will be good to you. Yes, be good. All right. That's right. Ciao. Ciao. Stay funky, Turn funky. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, <laughs> Bye. See you. Ciao for now. Ciao for now. Great. Yeah. See ya. Okay. Oh,